All right, what's going on guys? Ice here and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video. It's gonna be a new series I'm gonna be starting on my channel. We're just gonna have like some gameplay in the background. I believe I go like 30 and like 12 or something like that in this free for all. Just a little bit of gameplay, nothing really too important. Uh, but anyways, I wanna bring you guys a video today. I'm starting a new series called Story Time. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll call it Story Time or About Me. It's just gonna be like stories and stuff that happened in my life. And things that happened in my life that are, I think, kind of, uh, I don't know, just are kind of funny or stories or just whatever you know so anyways my first story i'm gonna tell you guys is about the time i cracked my head open whenever i was I believe like three years old i'm gonna tell you guys all i remember about this because really this is like one of the first stories like i actually remember like uh i said like like 17 times there i just four more times because you know that makes sense but <laughs> anyways so i'm gonna tell you guys a story about this um it's one of the first stories i can remember from my past it's just one of the things that's always I don't know, just kind of remembered in the back of my head. Because it's like one of the only times I've injured myself really badly, I guess, where I've had to go to the hospital. Um, excluding a time whenever I was in third grade, but that'll be another story. Um, so, yeah. So, it started off, it was a normal day. I was just hanging out with my family. We were playing in my uh, backyard. We lived on this pretty big house. It was, a lot of our family lived there. It was like, my aunt lived there, my mom lived there, my grandma lived there. And uh, I think we had another aunt live there, too. It was like a pretty big house and we had a pretty big backyard and we had a sandbox and we had like a little rock pit and um it was just like i don't know a fun time then so anyways me and uh one of my cousins we decided that we were gonna uh play with these big rocks like we weren't like super heavy i mean i was three so i was able to pick it up and like i don't know we were just messing around with the rocks we were trying to see who could throw them and lift them over our heads and throw them and i don't know we were just messing around just know doing kid stuff you know because being kids and being young you do stupid things so i don't know that's just what ended up happening we decided to play with these rocks and um unfortunately for me i lifted up one of the rocks and i put it above my head and i don't remember what i was doing someone said something and i dropped it i i dropped the rock on my head like literally like i don't know maybe like maybe 10 pounds i don't think it was that much because i was pretty young I'm thinking maybe 10 pounds. I don't know if it was really that much. It was a pretty decent sized rock is all I could say. And I dropped it on my forehead. And, or on the top of my head. And uh, I, it's just like, I don't know. I was really scared out of my mind. I was scared to the point to where like I thought I was going to die. I didn't know what was happening. Next thing I know, I'm in my dining room. Sitting there on the table, have a rag on top of my head, blood coming out everywhere. I don't know. My mom doesn't know what to do. She's freaking out. That's like the first time I've ever injured myself pretty badly. We rushed to the hospital, and um, really at the hospital, like I don't remember anything. Uh, the only thing I actually do remember from the hospital is whenever they pull the stitches out of my head. But uh, yeah, but I remember like rushing to the hospital, and like my mom's freaking out. My mom's screaming. My mom like is a really bad overreactor. Maybe that's where I get some of the things that, like, maybe that's where I get some mad whenever someone worries me. But anyways, off topic, my mom's a big overreactor, and, like, she was, like, freaking out. We were so scared, and I just had, like, blood coming out of my head like crazy. So, we get to the hospital. Next thing you know, I wake up the next morning. I have a staple in my forehead. Literally, I have a staple in my forehead. A staple. J just imagine having a staple in your head. I believe I had to stay in the hospital for a few days, and I believe my grandpa stood with me from like what I've heard. I'm not exactly sure. Like I honestly cannot tell you guys exactly what happened, and um, I don't remember that part too much. So eventually, I ended up. Uh, I think it was like the third day. Like I had it in my head. I ended up pulling it out, and oh my god! I don't even know how to explain this feeling to you of getting a stitch pulled out of my head. It was literally insane, and. Um, one of the most like one of the worst feelings I've ever felt in my entire life it was just so awful and so painful and uh just like I guess if I feel it right now like if I think about it too much like I cringe because of it it was just like an awful feeling but uh yeah so that's the time I cracked my head open I was being a stupid little kid and that's like one of the first stories I remember so yeah I hope you guys know this little video I'll be trying to make more videos like this um it's just the second half of this gameplay because that's whenever I turn up so yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you guys do. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know that you guys do. Because I really would like to make more videos like this because I think they're pretty interesting. I think that they're going to be a lot of fun because they're telling you guys more about me. And you guys get to 